Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind and it happened again. Last night I was cruising Marketplace and I saw a 1973 Honda CB360. It was listed for $175. It had just posted. I sent the guy a message, said I'd be there in the morning, first thing, and he said, see you in the morning. So in the listing, it said it was missing a key and didn't have a title. I had a feeling it didn't have a title, so I wasn't concerned with that. But when I got there, it had this. So not missing a key. It is missing a tank, but other than that, everything else is complete. Okay, let's take a walk around on this thing and just drink it all in. Come to find out this was uh, the old guy had passed away and guy was cleaning out the, the house for him. This was his, it was the original owner. Guys, this thing was listed for $175, which means I didn't pay $175. I got it for $125 and it rolls. I can sell the side covers and make my money back. But let's pop this seat open and see what we got. So guys, when I popped the seat up and saw this little bit of paper, little plastic sticking out, I said, okay, asked the guy immediately what he wanted for it because I knew that underneath it was going to be the original owner's manual. And I didn't even tell the guy what was there. This is his inspection sticker from 1984. So this thing hasn't been removed probably since 1984. Let's see what this says. I don't want to put the guy's business on there, but might, that was him. This is all I need to, wow, it was bought at, it was bought at R.E. Garrett in New Orleans. So, which is cool. Nice little tidbit of history here. So, that's the owner's manual. Let's keep that. So that was cool. So guys, when I saw that it had the owner's manual and the guy told me it was the original owner, I said, this guy cared for this. You know, who else puts the owner's manual underneath this thing if they don't care about it? And so then I did, I, you know, so I said, let's see if it's got a toolkit. And I haven't pulled this out yet but it does have a toolkit, a bunch of gunk in there, but let's knock all the dirt toppers off. It looks like this thing has been in there forever. Original toolkit. We'll check to make sure all the pieces and parts are there, but looks like it's probably fairly complete. Looks like he actually used this to adjust the shocks everything else here we'll check to make sure it's complete but i've got 125 dollars i've got an original owner's manual and an original toolkit we'll make sure it's complete i think i'm winning okay let's check the oil let's see if we got any oil in here it's got something in there looks like it's got a lot of it maybe it's fuely it may smell a little fuely but it's got some oil in there. So let's uh, go ahead and pop these spark plugs off, see what they look like. Who knows how long this thing was parked. Huh, looks like it was running rich when it last ran. It does look like it was running a little rich. Let's put a couple of squirts in there. I am acting like this thing's gonna work. And let's go to the other side. Okay, so. I got this spark plug out too. As you can see it, it's a little rich too. And this one has the, uh, the rare two piece spark plug cap that is no bueno. So we'll see if we can, uh, if it turns over, we'll see if we can put something in there. See if we can get some spark. So let's just put some juice in here. Okay, let's hook up this jump box. See if we get any signs of life. That's a good one there. That's a good one there. Get the key up here. Q 
key on. Nothing up here. No turn signals. Nothing. No horn. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we get any brake light. No brake light. Oh, maybe I'm not hooked up. Oh, turn the turn turn it on, you knucklehead. You got to make sure you hit the switch. Let's try it all again. No. Oh yeah, look, neutral light. <laughs> That's winning. Let's, whoa. That's $125, and it and it turns over. And it turns over. Let's see if it has if it feels like it has any compression. What do you think? What are the odds? I'll put you guys right here. See if I just stick my finger in it. That sounded good. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like compression to me. So, neutral light, awesome. Do these headlights work? No. I probably just, oh, hold on, something happened. No, nothing. Okay, let's put a spark plug on. Okay guys, we're looking right here. And place your bets right now at DraftKings.com. Use the promo code Motorcycle Rewind. There is no promo code, but give it a shot. Spark or no spark? Go ahead, what do you think? I didn't see a thing. How about you guys? Let's try right, let's try again. That's a better, that's a better spot. Let's try that. Nothing yet. Let's check it out. Okay, so what I like to do is hook up a test light, hook up a test light, and I like to start all the way back here, make sure I'm getting power. Make sure I got a good ground. See, I'm getting power here. I'm grounded, and I go through my fuses. Even though they look good, I like to make sure that they're still good, you know, because they could be separated at the base. So then I like to come back and check, I should be having power at my black and white. So then I like to go through and check to make sure I have power to my coils. Make sure I'm on, key on, right? Hold on. Yeah. So I should have power here. So I should have power there. Should have power here and here. So I got power going to and from my coils. Then I can check here at the the bottom where they connect to the base of the points. I like to check those two and I can check the other side. And then does the light go off when I open it, if they're open? See here, and then if I open, so now my points are working here, it goes off. So that means everything is working. It, thus far, what we've determined, we got power from here going all the way through the system, all the way back down to here and opening and closing. Now we just have to clean our points, make sure that we're getting it through to the end down here. We know we're getting it from here, we just have to check to make sure we're getting it the rest of the way. And we'll do that, let's clean these points. Before I go uh, any further, before I clean up these points, I'm gonna go ahead and put a new end on this guy. It looks pretty rough right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and snip this off on this spark plug wire. I'm gonna trim back some of this this coating so I can get to it. But now I should be able to have a, a really good, and guys, be careful if you're using a knife this size, right? You don't know how dangerous this can be. And I am compensating for something with the size of this knife, but you guys will figure it out. Okay, let's put a new cap on here. Before I screw the cap on, I'm just gonna make sure we have spark here. And you can see it jumping. And all I'm doing is, can you guys see that? You should, you can definitely hear it. And all I'm doing is opening and closing. Here, I'll back you up a little bit. All I'm doing is opening and closing the points. And if you can't see it, you can definitely hear it, so. Okay, I've got my points file right here. 
Just gonna go ahead and slip it in here and do this side. Make sure your uh, your ignition's off. And then I'd like to use just a business card to go ahead and clean it off. Look at all the stuff that came off. And this points cleaner cleaning is sponsored by Resurrection Title Service. Not a sponsor. But we're using their business card. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll do that. Let's check the spark. Key on. Let's check the spark and see what it looks like. See if you guys can see that. Yeah, good spark. Good job, let's do the other side. Okay, we've got the battery hooked up. I've got the air cleaners off. We're gonna squirt it with a little starting fluid and see if it makes some kind of noise. My throttle is seized up, so. That should be enough to start a fire. Okay, now let's see. What do you think? Hey, 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 yes. It is Smokey McSmokester. Guys, I don't know about you, but that sounds like a running motorcycle. I mean, yes, I know I squirted some uh, starting fluid in there and it made some noise, which is all I needed it to do. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to pull the, the carbs off and rebuild those or rebuild them. Right, I'm not going to do that right now because I got other things I have to do, but I just wanted to see what I was working with before I just pushed it in the corner so it can wait its turn. So that I know I'm not I'm not waiting on I'm not dealing with a whole bunch. We do normal maintenance stuff on this, clean the carbs, and we should have a running motorcycle. It starts we got spark, we got compression enough to make to make noise. That's enough for me. So let's clean it up before we push it in the shop. Guys, I'm feeling pretty good with my $125 purchase. $125, bucks. we will knock some dirt off of it and we'll see how good it looks. And it's, it's got all the good stuff, right? It's got spark compression and it needs a little bit more fuel, but carbs will work. Let's go ahead and knock this thing out. So guys, here we are. We've got it cleaned up a little bit. Didn't do too much. We just hosed it down, pressure washed it. Boy, if we had a seat on this thing, it would be awesome. Next steps on this will be to pull the carbs and clean them up. Clean those up because this doesn't move. I'm stuck somewhere along the way. So I've got to figure that out and to be able to sort it. But it's not a bad looking little motorcycle. And it'll be something. I'd rather have it clean in the shop now, ready to go, or when, uh, it's, it's its turn in the queue. That's why I didn't feel like taking this apart right now. So guys, there you have it. This is a quick and easy little will it run. Just picked up $125 Honda CB360 from Marketplace. And then with $0, I got it to make noise. That's the key, guys, in, in, this, in this whole thing. And for me, I like to get them running without spending any money because it's a challenge and why not? But a lot of times you don't need to spend any money. These things were just neglected. This thing, last inspection sticker we saw in the book was 1984, 40 years ago, right? So we're okay with, with this guy. It'll run, it'll ride. We, uh, we just have to wait its turn since we've got a bunch in the queue right now. Wait its turn and then we'll get this guy going. But fun little video. $125, I think I was money well spent. I think I'm, I'm in good shape. So guys, there you have it. The answer to the question, will it run? The answer is a yes, kinda. We haven't put a fuel source to it, but we and it made noise. That's all that matters for us for right now. So I wanna thank you for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're in the subscribing mood, just wander on over to our friends, Burke House Builds, Gold Guy, Moto Mango, Ace Cafe, Bike Smile, Zero Racers, Plan B Motos, Pete's Classic Cycle, and Lady Moto Bang. And give those guys a subscribe too. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.